Hi guys, so this is just a quick tutorial on how you can install WordPress on either a new website or uh, an existing domain. Um, it's very quick, very easy. I'm using HostGator, but this procedure should apply to many other hosting providers. The process is very much the same. So GoDaddy, Bluehost, they'll also use this same uh, procedure. So um, for this example, I'm going to be using um, a domain name that I don't really use much. It's just a plain uh, image on a page, nothing special for this example, it's fine. So the first thing you need to do is obviously log into your hosting control panel. Once you're there, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. You'll have all your email, admin and FTP and all that kind of stuff. Just scroll down to software and services. You want to look for something called Fantastico Deluxe. Okay, so I'm just going to click on Fantastico. And this allows us to very quickly install lots of different web applications and we're going to pick WordPress from the list. Just going to load, I'm going to click on new installation and now it's asking me where I want to put this installation. So if you already have pages on your website and you're looking to create a WordPress blog you can just stick it in a directory called blog or whatever, something like that. Um, for this one, I'll, I'll just put it into demo. And then we want to select the admin username. I'm just going to go with admin, password, password, admin nickname. This is what is displayed um, throughout the WordPress installation. So if you want to use your own name, that's fine. And my email address, site name, a new blog, description, uh, something here, blah, blah, blah. So admin password, and that's going in the demo directory. So it'll be acormedia.ch forward slash demo. So I'll click install WordPress. Now that's just giving me a summary of what's going to happen. It's going to create a database automatically for me. It's going to do all the manual work, and I'm just going to click finish. Right now that's creating the databases, it's uploading all the files, it's unpacking everything onto the server. Any second now, that should come up with a confirmation. There we go, so that's done. So now I can email the details if I need them. I just flick back to Acorn Media, and if I go onto forward slash demo, which should be the new, and there we go. That's the default installation of WordPress and that's ready to go. It's as easy as that. So just look for Fantastico Deluxe and uh, it'll take you seconds. We can also check the admin area, which is wp-admin. And we should be able to log in with that. That all works okay. And it was PS. Oops. And there we go. We're in the back end and we can add it and edit posts and start populating our blog. I hope that's useful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you.